Far-right populist parties across Europe are riding a wave of anti-establishment fervour, widely seen as a backlash to decades of globalisation and immigration. It's been fueled by fears about Europe's largest migration crisis since World War II and bolstered by Brexit and Donald Trump's triumphant election campaign in the US. With presidential polls looming in France, National Front leader Marine Le Pen's chances of pulling off a Trump-like coup are suddenly being taken more seriously. She's focused on restricting immigration, fighting against Islamic fundamentalism and withdrawing France from the European Union. These are common themes for Europe's populist parties. Germany's Alternative for Germany party started out in 2013 as an anti-Euro party. It's transformed into an anti-migrant, anti-establishment party, capitalising on public anger over the million refugees and migrants who arrived in Germany in 2015. Jobbik, Hungary's radical nationalist party, has proved instrumental in blocking EU migrant quotas, although the right-wing ruling party has also adopted a tough anti-immigration stance. In Austria, the far-right Freedom Party managed to overturn the result of the presidential election in May 2016 due to procedural errors after leader Norbert Hofer was narrowly defeated. However, he was again defeated during the December 2016 rematch. Italy's populist Northern League was a key member of Silvio Berlusconi's coalition government. Its policy platform includes similarities with Trump's campaign, including economic protectionism and fighting immigration. In the Netherlands, firebrand Islamophobic Freedom Party leader Gert Wilders is a frontrunner in 2017's parliamentary elections.